हेलो फ्रेंड्स सत्येंद्र हियर एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स डिजाइन एग्जस्ट मैनिफोल्ड इन क्रियो पैरामेट्रिक सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो दिस इज द एग्जस्ट मैनिफोल्ड एंड इफ यू सी ऑल अराउंड इट लुक्स लाइक दिस एंड दिस इज द कंप्लीट ड्राइंग सो यू कैन यूज दिस ड्राइंग टू प्रैक्टिस दिस पार्ट नाउ कमिंग बैक टू दिस पार्ट दिस पार्ट इज वेरी सिंपल द ओनली क्रिटिकल थिंग इज this 3d bend and this is done using 3d curve or we say intersection curve so if you see this curve this is the 3d curve so if you are able to create this curve then you are almost done now here you will see if you really quick technique to create this part so i'll use copy and paste technique to create this 3d sweep i will also use point pattern to pattern these holes Now to start this part read this drawing carefully always go with add material feature first and then you go for remove material features now let's start the part and for this go to new part solid assign the name uncheck use default template and say okay now from here you select the proper template so i'll use millimeter newton second part solid this is a metric template and i'll say okay now i'll start this part with this base so this base is a revolve feature so i'll directly go to revolve on to the right datum plane normal switch of the datums now to add a revolve feature first add a center line somewhere here then create this profile and for this i will add one line first from here this side then dimension from here till here till here now this is 150 then draw the rough profile start from here go like this then go like this this close it now this is 15 and from here till here this is 65 and this angle is also 65 degree and your sketch is done now say okay and okay so the base is done now the next feature is this portion and for this i'll go to extrude i'll switch on the datum plane and then i will create a flying datum i'll select this datum plane which is the front datum plane i will drag it this side now this value is 85 this one so make it 85 say okay go back and normal switch of the datums now draw a center line first just like this then go for rectangle draw a rectangle like this one more center line add somewhere here another dimension so from here till here this is 260 now this is 375 and this is 35 that's okay flip it this side now the thickness is 10 so make it 10 okay now the next feature is this particular feature and for this one second go to extrude select this face normal now draw a center line first somewhere here
then draw one circle now this circle is radius 30 then draw one more circle somewhere here mirror this circle using this reference now go for tangent line select this circle and then this circle this circle and this circle this circle and this circle and this circle and this circle then go for delete segment and remove unwanted segments now this is dia 20 and the gap between this point and this point this is 75 and your sketch is done now say ok flip the direction go to to selected and select this face enter now this item you pattern it you can simply go with point pattern now when you go for point pattern you need to sketch the point so go to define select this face sketch normal now switch on the datums go for reference select this reference close switch off the datums now draw center line place here then go for datum point place one point here now mirror this point with this reference one more datum point somewhere here now the gap between this point and this point this is 125 now just say okay and say ok you got the result now just switch on the datum axis so now if you see these patterns we are not getting the datum axis but if you see this drawing you have this datum axis all around so add this datum axis go back to this feature edit edit the sketch normal now here just add datum points to this location this location and this location say okay okay now you are getting the datum axis and the same feature got patterned all around now the next feature is this 3d curves and for this first we need to draw the 2d sketch so go to the sketch and to the right datum plane sketch normal now go to the reference select the center axis close now draw the sketch so start from here just like this just like this add a fillet somewhere here now this fillet is radius 45 which is this one and this gap is 40 which is this one now the sketch is done say ok now one more sketch so go to the sketch onto the front datum plane sketch normal now here you first go to the reference select this center axis one by one now draw the sketch so start with line from here this side and then 
go down to this point. Same way you draw this line, come down this point, come down this point, then this one, this point. Now add the fillet. So go to the fillet, use circular fillet, add the fillet here and here and here and here. Go to equal constant, make all the fillets equal because all are radius 75. So make it 75. Now draw a center line starting from this point, horizontal. Now move these points to this reference. Now this gap from this point to this reference, this is 100 and your sketch is done, now say ok. So now we have created two sketches, one is this one and another one is this one. Now using these two sketches, I will create an intersection curve or a 3D curve. So select these two sketches at a time. Now you go to intersect and it is done. You got the 3D curve very easily. Now the next thing is creating this 3D sweep. So for this simply go to sweep, move your cursor here, just right click and select this small segment. Then hold the shift key, move your cursor here, right click and select these segments. Now you go to sketch, draw the circle somewhere here. Now this is dia 40, the outer dia and say ok. You are getting the sweep, now just say ok. Now once you have created one sweep, no need to create the same sweep again and again. Just select this feature, go to copy and then paste. Now move your cursor here, just right click and select the small segment, hold the shift key, move your cursor here and select this entire segment. Now flip this direction and say ok. Similarly one more time paste, move your cursor here, just right click, select this small segment, hold the shift key, move your cursor here select the entire segment and say ok. Similarly one more time paste, move your cursor here, right click, select this segment, hold the shift key and select this entire segment, say ok. So just by using copy and paste functionality, you have created rest of the sweep. Now the next feature which is this particular feature. So for this once again go to extrude onto the top datum plane, normal. Now first you draw a circle in construction mode. Just like this. Now this is dia 170, so make it 170. Now draw a circle. Now this is radius 12.5 and say ok. Now 
Now the height is 10, which is this one and say so, okay. Now go for round, add one round here, this is radius 15, hold the control key and select this edge, say so, okay. Now group these two feature and go for pattern. Go for axis pattern, select the center axis, 4 items, 360 degree, okay. So I have just completed all add material features, now I will go with the remove material features. So my first feature will be the internal feature somewhere here, which is this one, the internal cut and for this once again I will go for revolve onto the right datum plane, normal. Now use clip model, now add a center line first, somewhere here. Then draw the profile. Start from here, go like this, then this, then this. Parallel, make this parallel with this. Now the dimension. So from here till here, this is 10. Then from here till here, this is also 10. and then from here till here this is also 10. Now these three 10 you can make it equal just like this. So now if you modify this dimension and make it 15 all segments will move. So let it be 10. Now close the sketch just like this and say ok, say ok. Now the next feature which is this internal cut and for this once again I will use the copy paste technique. So I will just go to sweep 1, I will say copy and then I will say paste. Once again repeat the same procedure. Just right click, select the small segment, hold the shift key, move your cursor like this, right click and select this entire segment. Now you go to sketch and change this dia, dia 40 to dia 30, now say ok. Go for remove material and say ok. Now once again select sweep 5, go to copy and then paste. Right click, select this segment, hold the shift key, select this entire segment. Flip this direction and say ok. Again paste, move your cursor here. Right click, select this segment, then move your cursor here, hold the shift key and select this entire segment, say ok. One more time paste, move your cursor here, right click, select this segment, hold the shift key, move your cursor here and select this entire segment. Flip the direction and say ok. Now the next feature which is these holes, so I will just go to hole, I will select this face, hold the control key and select the center axis. Now the dia of hole is 10, so make it 10, 
and depth you make it to next say okay now this all once again i'll go to pattern and i'll go to point pattern reference define i'll select this face sketch normal now go to the datum point and place your datum point to this reference this reference this reference this reference this reference this reference and this reference now the best part of point pattern is i can place a point anywhere let's say i am placing here one extra point i can assign the dimension value and i'll just say okay say okay and your hole is created so i'll just delete this point and i'll say okay so this means you can use point pattern for real regular dimension also now the next feature is this hole so once again go to hole select this face hold the control key and select the center axis dia is 10 depth is to next say okay now go for pattern and this time it will automatically select the reference point because these features are already patterned so based on this pattern it is selecting the point i just say okay and it's done so this completes all remove material feature so your part is almost done now the only feature left is couple of rounds so go to round select this edge the round value is 25 hold the control key then select this edge this edge this edge now the next round which is onto this edge now this is radius 20 hold the control key and select this edge say okay then the next round onto this edge this is radius 15 and say okay now the inner round to this edge and this edge now this is radius 10 say okay then this edge now this is radius 5 say okay now the next round which is coming somewhere here this is radius 7 hold the control key and select this edge and this edge enter now the inner one so go to round and select this edge this is radius 12 hold the control key and select this edge and this edge say okay now one more round which is coming somewhere here this is radius 5 say okay then inside and we're here this is radius 10 so okay i 
and your part is done. So this was the exhaust manifold in Creo Parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.